It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another one, another reaction to an episode of Breaking Bad. This is my reaction to Season 3, Episode 13, the Season 3 finale. This one's called Full Measure. It actually works pretty well with the title of the last episode, which was Half Measure. We can kind of understand what this episode is going to be all about. Because if you think about Mike's story in the last episode, we can kind of connect the dots and understand what this title means in terms of what we're going to probably see in this episode. But let's talk a little bit more about last episode. Last episode, like I said in my last reaction, was probably one of my favorite episodes. It was crazy. It was like a roller coaster ride from start to finish. A lot of great character development, some great dialogue. I think that episode had some of the best dialogue I've seen for this series so far. And also, there was a big twist at the end, which I didn't see coming. I was shocked. I saw parts of it coming, like you saw in my reaction, but I didn't see the whole thing coming. So that was pretty interesting and exciting to see. But I'm expecting more or less of the same in this episode. Great dialogue, more character development, and probably a huge twist at the end. Because, I mean, that's what happened last time, so I'm expecting the same thing. But I'm super excited. So, I'm just gonna dive right into this reaction. He better get that car fixed soon though, if he doesn't want to be stopped by the cops again. Who is he here to meet with? Gus? He's definitely got some explaining to do. I'd like you to exit your vehicle and start walking toward us. Mmm. And then what? This I doesn't sound some friendly. Some kind of assurance. I assure you I can kill you from way over here if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> Damn. They definitely know what happened then. By the way, something I forgot to say at the end of the last episode. Walt officially went full Heisenberg mode. Walter, you've been busy. You could say that. Arms out to the sides for me, if you would. You know, I haven't slept since Thursday. I was out all night cleaning up after you. Mm. I need my sleep. You said no half measures. Exactly. Mm, yeah. Funny how words can be so open to interpretation. <laughs> You get your car fixed? Not yet. You're gonna want to get your car fixed. Yeah. Let's see how this goes first. <laughs> the cinematography is just great in this show. So is the dialogue. So is the acting. Everything is just so good. Explain yourself. My partner was about to get himself shot. I intervened. Some worthless Yankee. For him, you intervened to put us all at risk. Some contemptible junkie. You better say what the two guys did. That's right, he couldn't. He was angry because those two dealers of yours had just murdered an 11 year old boy. I heard about it. Then again, maybe he thought it was you who gave the order. That could be. Are you asking me if I ordered the murder of a child? Yes, he is. I would never ask you that. What did you? <laughs> You've always struck me as a very pragmatic man, so if I may, I would like to review options with you. Of which... It seems to me you have two. Mm. Option A. You kill me right here and now. Apparently I have made that very easy for you. You can kill me, no witnesses. And then spend the next few weeks or months tracking down Jesse Pinkman and you kill him too. What is option B? I continue cooking. You and I both forget about Pinkman. I think both are going to like that option a lot better. We consider this a lone hiccup in an otherwise long and 
fruitful business arrangement. I prefer option B. Yep. How about you, Gus? You'd need a new assistant. At least I like you. Is he gonna bring back the other guy? What was his name? Gail? And I'm right. What's he doing? Is he trying to cut the electricity? Yep. Oh. That's why he was doing that. I knew he was standing right there. Ooh. Wow. That was an effective shot. <laughs> Damn. The guy just like wasted his bullets for nothing. Mmm. He knows he's there. Mike is smarter than that. Yep. Mmm, he told him higher. Lower, higher, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was actually funny though. The way he assisted. You want to tell me? The cross. Toledo looks like. They didn't exactly send their A players. But like you said, it's cartel, alright. See, I told you the cartel are after Gus. What about Pink? I'm making inquiries. Is he still after him? I thought they made a deal. And guess what? No, no it'll be it'll be fine. Things will continue to smooth out. No more meth is gonna go missing. Yeah, it'll be fine. Which means they're gonna know that it was Jesse who was stealing. Uh, Gail, it's good to see you. That's interesting. Wow. If push came to shove, I was wondering how soon you might be able to take over the lab. Oh, you and an assistant. Why would? Why would? Uh oh. Come to show? Has he ever spoken to you about his health problems? That's how Gus is gonna spin this, but we all know why he's doing this. Why? He sees him as a threat. He's dying of cancer. Now, when I say I'm looking for Pinkman, we both know why, don't we? Yes, and we do. Pretending otherwise only wastes my time and serves to annoy me. Uh, Mike, uh, there are rules to this uh, lawyer thing. Is that right? Yeah. Attorney-client privilege. I mean, that, that's a big one. Uh, that's something I provide for you. You see? So then where's the trust? I trust the hole in the desert I leave you in. Damn. Yeah, that's an argument. That's an argument. Don't make me beat you till your legs don't work. But I thought they made a deal. I guess there is no deal now. They're going to take care of both Jesse and Walt. Maybe 24 hours before he figures out that address goes nowhere. You guys do your Damn. thing. Damn. Make it snappy. He played him. See if they have Tetris or something. I got my old job back. At least until they kill me and Gail takes over. <laughs> He's their boy, huh? He knows. He's their boy. How long do you think you've got? Oh, he asks a lot of questions about the cooking process. I try to be his best. So not a lot. But I got that guy Victor watching me, listening to every word I say. And once he feels confident that he knows my entire method, they're gonna take you out. Mmm. This is interesting. It's got to be some other way. I think it's better for you to just go to the cops. All right? It's too late for that. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that at all, but for your family, 
Hey, the DEA would love you. All the shit you could tell them. Federal witness protection, that's a good deal. It's over. It's not over. We got two more seasons to go. Well, leverage keeps me alive. It keeps you alive, too. I think I can see to that. But how long is that gonna last if for? I'm the only chemist that he's got. Hmm. Is Walt suggesting that Jesse kill Gale? I'll do it. Is he putting a hit on him? Oh, he said he'll do it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your help. And they're watching me day and night. I never leave Damn. him with Gale, not for a moment. Hell, I don't even know where the man lives. There's this no is no longer Walt here. talking. This is Heisenberg right there. Your life, Jesse. Now it's time for you to save his. Are you gonna save mine? Yep. <laughs> Damn. The dialogue is just crazy in this. Season 353 on Montebo Boulevard, apartment 6. Is yeah. he actually gonna go through with this? By the way, I can't help but compare this situation to the fly episode. Something just clicked a few minutes ago when yeah, Walt and Jesse were talking. Some kind of chemical leaking in your lab. You gotta come with me. This is not good. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll follow you. They tell me to bring you. I bring you. Come on, get in the car. Woof. Gus is two steps ahead of ya. This is freaking intense. I know I say that a lot, but... Whew. I mean, I know he's not gonna die here, but... It's the anticipation of what's gonna happen that's killing me. Mike is there. Some shit is about to go down. You got something mighty stinky down there. You don't want to go down there. You don't have to do this. Yeah, unfortunately I do, Walter. Downstairs. I'll cook. I'll, I'll cook for free and there won't be any more trouble, I promise you. No. Okay, if I could just talk to Gus. No. I know I can make him understand, please. If no. I could talk to Gus, I can, I can convince him, okay? Just let me, please, please, please let me talk to him. Shut up. Shut up. I'll give you Jesse Pinkman. Ooh. Okay. Like you said, he's the problem. He's always been the problem. And without him, we would... And he's, he's in town, all right? He's, he's not in Virginia or wherever the hell you're looking for him. He's right here in Albuquerque, and I could take you to him. I'll take you Come right on, to Walt. Don't do my boy Jesse dirty like that. Is Walt really about to go through with this? It's gonna have to be you. What? No way, man. Listen to me. You're closer than we are. I have about a 20 minute lead. They've got me at the laundry and they're going to kill me. Jesse, do it now! Do it, bitch! Do it, Jesse! Do it! Walt, Walt, Walt. Because what the hell was that? Exactly. You might want to hold off. Yeah? He's smart. Why? Because your boss is going to need me. 6353 Juan Tabo, apartment 6. Yeah. You just got Heisenberg. I knew he wouldn't do Jesse dirty like that. Take whatever you want. I have money. I, have, I, I, I got a lot of money. Um. Wow. Holy shit. Alright, so that was my reaction to season 3, episode 13, the season 3 finale, which was called Full Measures. This was a pretty good episode. I think putting this together with the last episode, it's probably some of the best episodes we've seen so far. As far as character development goes, 
we obviously saw what happened to Jesse and what he did at the end and also what Walt did at the end of the last episode so a lot of character development great character development the dialogue was just awesome both of these episodes had heavy dialogue that were just great and it was intense like the intensity of these two episodes was just indescribable both of these episodes sent you like on this roller coaster ride which was pretty great to see but I knew there must be a twist at the end of this episode and I was right about that but this was a hell of a way to end the season and it just opens the doors to so many other things that they could do in season four now in terms of the story but this was pretty good I mean I think I'm pretty confident in saying that this episode and the previous episode are some of my favorite episodes so far but I'm super stoked to see where we go from here and what happens next but I hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did share and smash the like button subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload that's it for this video see you next time for another super video